<laughs> Looks like traffic is backed up. Find a truck towing porta potties or something. What up, dudes and dudettes? I'm on my way to Oklahoma City to do shows this week at the Looney Bin, and then next week I'm gonna be in Wichita, Kansas, at the Looney Bin there. It should be fun. So because I'm gonna be, go be gone for so long, I didn't wanna leave my car in airport parking. So, cause that would have been, I mean, it would have been like $150 in parking. That, like, what? <laughs> I, want, I didn't want to do that. So, uh, I'm going to my friend's apartment and I'm gonna leave my car there. She said that's cool. And uh, then I'm gonna take the train to the, the airport. So, that should be fun. Uh, we'll see. I've taken the train to the airport before, but uh, not with this much stuff. We, we, we shall see. It's got to be the most Florida thing I've ever seen in my life. See that, see that white F-150 there? See how he's like driving in halfway in the emergency lane? Look at that. <laughs> it's because he's driving with his elbows. That dude is eating a Big Mac, driving with his elbows, like holding, still holding the Big Mac container, like the big box. He was tailgating me. I was like, what, what are you doing? I sped up to get room in between us, and he sped up to, to keep tailgating me while he's driving with his goddamn elbows. What are you doing, man? I mean, that just shines a light on how poor, poor the uh, Florida education system is. Like, you don't realize that, what? Oh man, dude, good lord. <laughs> what are you doing? They must be doing, they gotta be doing construction on it or something. There's like dust everywhere on the ground, see it? I had a crazy ride to the airport. I, 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 when, I, when I get where I'm going, I'll tell you. So dudes, I made it. This is my room. This interesting 1970s style green room is all me. Got this 12 inch TV all the way. <laughs> like uh, maybe it's 24. Tiny. I remember when that was a big TV, a 24 inch TV. I mean, the aspect ratio was way different. Man, this is cool. Dude, what a crazy, so I gotta tell you the crazy thing that happened. Uh, I'll give you a tour of the house while I tell you about my crazy uh, trip to the airport. How cool is that painting? Look at, look at this. We got a whole badass living room set up. This is gonna be nice. It's been a while since I've been here. I think it was like 2017 or so. Please write in the book. Oh, that's cool. Comics, please write in the book. I'll write something. Here's the thing. I was trying to save a couple of dollars. When normally I park at the airport, but it's $10 a day. I'm gonna be gone for a little over two weeks. It would've been like 150 bucks. And I was like, well, I'm trying not to spend that extra money. And Ubering from my house would have been just as much round trip. So I was like, yeah, it wouldn't work. My roommate wasn't available to give me a ride. And so I needed to figure out another option. We got this cool little, I don't know, I guess at one point plants were inside. There's like a skylight. Probably can't see that. It's an interesting house feature. So my other option I figured out was I was going to leave my car at a friend's uh, apartment complex. She could look after it and she was gonna give me a ride to the airport. However, as it turns out, she had to be gone while I was leaving, um, so she wasn't available. And I was like, you know what? I'll just take the train. And so when I got there, I figured out, or I looked it up on Waze and it was gonna be uh, a short Uber ride to like the first train station and then take that train to another train and that train to the airport. And I'm like, this will be fine. This will be great. You know, it'll cost me like, 
15 bucks or something to get to the airport and that'll be way cheaper. It didn't work out that way though. <laughs> Turned out the first train station I went to was actually a bus stop in a real bad part of town. I gave a bum some money who was asking for it. I saw a dude show off his gun. I'll explain the gun thing in a second. But I was like, I need to get the fuck out of here. So I, instead of like, also, I was gonna take all my luggage on a bus. And I was like, initially I thought, I'll just take another Uber directly to the train station. I'm like, you know what? Let's just call the loss. And I took an Uber directly to the airport. I'm like, uh, what am I gonna save another five bucks? So ended up take, taking, took two Ubers, uh, but I made it to the airport. This is the kitchen. Hang on, a cool. Let's, let's see what's in the fridge. Think there's anything in there? Condiments and some water and a cup of fruit. Oh, and I got some a scrambled egg kit. So there's a little stuff. Ranch dressing, if you really need it. And the freezer. Oh, look at that. I got some I got a Stouffer's lasagna. And some buffalo chicken mac and cheese. So I can eat back in the green room. It became very obvious that where I was was a real bad part of town. Like, you know, when first the bum came up to me, the Uber driver didn't even want to stay there to drop me off. I'm like, can, can we adjust this? Like, I'll, I'll pay, let's just go to the airport. He's like, hey, I've already canceled it. And he really just wanted to get out of Dodge. So he dropped me off, wearing my Jordans, holding my, this giant camera, all this stuff, like looking like a Target, basically, in front of this fish fry restaurant in the worst part of town. I'm certain that uh, restaurant is super delicious, though. Like, I want to go back there just for the, just for the food. But I'll give you a, give you a prime example. A guy drove up in a Porsche, uh, Macon, Macon, whatever it is, the, the SUV. And he got out wearing, he could, you could see when he was driving in, wearing a uh, bust down Rolex, just covered in diamonds. And he got out of the car, and as he was parking and starting to get out of the car, <clears throat> everyone started singing. This dude started to park, and everyone in the parking lot was like, I'm gonna be a baller, shot caller, 20 inch blades on the Impala. You know, just singing that song out loud, basically almost like mocking him because, you know, he's surrounded by poverty and he's pulling up in this gigantic Porsche with diamonds all over the place and stuff. This guy got out of the car and like lifted his shirt like this, showing that he had a gun, put it down, like as if he was like straightening it, but like made certain every fucking person saw he had a gun and then he just walked in the fish restaurant. Everyone stopped fucking singing when he showed off the gun and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm right. I need to get the fuck out of here. Like what, what the hell is happening right now? This is crazy. So hello Atlanta. <laughs> I, I was like, yeah, you know what? And Cause I was trying to save like $20, uh, you know, over the cost of just taking an Uber directly to the airport. Uh, lesson learned. Don't do that. Anywho, I'm uh, I'm in Oklahoma City, so if you guys want to come catch a show, come see me this weekend at the uh, Looney Bin. All right, I'll catch you guys a little later. Also, I got lots of compliments on my shirt while I was traveling. Everyone seems to love it. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys next video. Love it.